It's the classic movie for canine lovers when the Laurence Olivier of dogdom returns in Benji the Hunted. In this popular canine's latest film, we find him stranded in the wilderness, surrounded by natural enemies. Working with just a large cast of animals was a real challenge for director Joe Camp. You know, we had several scenes where we would have three or four of these animals, all of them mortal enemies. The frustration was that we had to start by teaching these animals that they weren't mortal enemies so that they would work safely together in the same shot and then ask them to play as though they were mortal enemies, which is the part they have in the picture. And so we had some confused animals from time to time. They didn't know what they were supposed to do. Making sure that Benji didn't get confused was the job of trainer Frank Enns. You see, Benji made his first picture when he was a year old. And uh, he went around the world. And uh, so he's worked uh, almost everywhere under every kind of condition. Dogs do talk. All animals talk. They talk with their eyes and with their faces and with their reactions to situations. When Joe Camp directs a film, he is very precise. Ah. Cubs, uh, where Benji carried them through uh, cold water and, and up steep ah. hills, and ah. it's hard to believe that it could be done. And, and I. What are the world's most dangerous animals? The hippo. Polar bears, the buffalo, rattlesnakes, the rhino, cobras, the crocodile, piranhas. It, it, it looked like Grand Central Station time. Well, it's amazing that some of them could work. Don't miss this exciting adventure, this moving story of love and courage. Catch the world television premiere of Benji the Hunted, only on the Disney Channel.